Welcome, it's Nicola here from Forever Young Autobiographies. Great that you can join me here on the channel today. This is the place where we learn to write life stories for family and friends so that unique memories can live on. If you're new here, please subscribe and like this video. It really does help others find it. Today we're talking about a bit of a taboo topic it's about death and dying, how to have hard discussions for your writing project. Now I bring this up because a few people have been in contact with me and they're writing about uh, their life story and it involves the death of a loved one, whether it's grandparents, parents, or you know, siblings, children, or they're putting in their, in their, uh, their writings other interviews with loved ones which reference death or dying of other relatives. So there, it, it is part of life and part of writing an autobiography is there is going to be, you know, the inevitable, there is going to be some death in there. So I want you to be able to feel confident to write about it because it isn't something that we naturally, we as humans, we don't want to think about. Now I know this myself, uh, last year my dad rang me up out of the blue and he said look I'm pretty much going to pop off any minute I've got you know arteries are 95% blocked I'm going to have to have critical surgery in two weeks um, I may not live that long or I may not survive the surgery or in his case he thought it was worse to have say some kind of stroke while um, being operated upon and waking up with who knows what kind of conditions or mental brain function. So I myself have had these conversations quite recently, life, death, you know, survival, and you know, and it all does, you know, hit you quite hard. But so I thought I would share with you some top tips about how to talk about this. And I thought, well, you know, I've just been through it with my dad. He's actually a He's been a GP, a, a doctor, and an emergency doctor for over 40 years. And part of his bread and butter of his day-to-day -day working life is talking to patients who are facing just this, death and dying, or they've had a loved one who's just died. So I thought I'll interview him and see if he can give us his number, number um, one, a uh, couple of tips for you. So let's jump on in. Now my dad's Dr. Paul, so we'll refer to him as that here, but I myself am not a health professional, so I encourage you if you have uh, other questions or you'd like something specific to your own situation, then please talk to your own doctor. And there's other websites out there that can offer support or as a resource like Beyond Blue or Lifeline. So please, uh, if you're having immediate issues, reach out to those, to those resources. But number one, now the number one tip that um, Dr. Paul gives to us when we're talking to a loved one who we're talking about death or dying someone in the past or presently is to know their personality. So they could be a shy person or they could be an extroverted person. Now, if you know their personality, this is a real bonus because you can sort of navigate which plane to start the conversation on. So what might work for an, uh, an extroverted person could be humour, but this could just totally crash and burn for someone who's more introverted or, or more emotional. So the great thing of a doctor-patient relationship is you know, you, you know the personality of the person you're talking to. And likewise, when you're a writer and you're interviewing, say, um, your loved ones for their life story or you're writing your own and you're interviewing them about you know, background for your own story, you know their personality. So you kind of already have that information of, okay, I think this would work. So number one, understand their personality. Now, Dr. Paul also says this is critical for um, when you're talking to families, talking to someone who's lost a loved one. So it could be, say, you're talking to your mother and her, her husband, your father has passed away. Now, if you know her personality, you can still go into that topic, similar kind of thing. You know how to approach her personality and therefore the subject, it, um, what will work and what won't work. Some people will want to talk about it from when it happens, like they, they might have just 
um, passed away the other week <laughs> and um, all they want to do as part of their grieving process is talk about it but not everybody's like that as a general rule dr paul says give them a couple of months you know the the loss will be extremely raw so don't go there for a couple of months now i've interviewed people and it can be a couple of decades and they'll still you know well up and be emotional about it but they do find that you know they want to still tell the story that it is emotional but they want to talk so just feel along there and remember everybody is different so the third point that dr paul um, has for us today is to remember that everybody when they're contemplating dying or death uh, sometimes they will be extremely anxious or nervous at first so bringing up what happens in death and after death can bring this to the surface but in time if you broach the subject often this will settle so they'll come to terms with it after a period of time usually if their condition allows for it you know if um, my dad was in an emergency situation sometimes people don't get that chance to kind of accept it or you know understand what's coming so yeah time the timing is crucial and if their condition allows them so yeah some people will be laid back others will be extremely anxious and there's sometimes you just can't talk to them there's nothing you can say that will help alleviate that anxiousness so yeah just remember to it's a case by case basis but generally as a trend people do come to accept it now death and dying is not something humans that we like to think about and my dad says you know it's not until it happens to you that you kind of um, you put more thought into your living and he says that's from his own personal experience and he has seen death and dying for decades you know every day so even as a doctor himself he says it really didn't hit home till it was you know happening to him so there you have it there's some key tips for talking to a doctor about life and death I hope that informs you uh, gives you some confidence in your writing and talking to loved ones about this topic so just to recap the key messages are from Dr Paul was one know that everybody's personality is, is different and this will influence or, or direct you in the way to approach the conversation whether it's through humor or a more um, serious compassionate tone the second one is this also applies to the family so the survivors of someone who's died it's also got to know their personality as a way to get into that conversation and just leave it for a few months at least if this loss is quite fresh and even then you know you will it, it can take a long time so that's number two number three is to understand that most people who are dying or facing death if they're given time and their condition allows will come to accept or come to an understanding about the process so yeah that pretty much wraps it up for today if you've got um, comments you'd like to, to leave about this topic I'd really love to put them down below and I'll also leave down below a link to this uh, article where I go into more depth on this topic it's on my website foreveryoungautobiographies.com and for viewers today I've got a free bonus or a gift for you and it's the uh, a few free sections to the your family stories system which is about interviewing a loved one say from from birth to death and everything in between and I give you this I hold your hand and give you the, the program the, the program to go through from writing all the way to publishing their life story so it's completely free look down the bottom for the link uh, if you've got any other questions please let me know and uh, I'll be back again next week with another video so please like this one hit the subscribe button and I'll see you then thanks for watching and happy writing